Hi, I'm George, and I need to turn my white wolf there into a gray wolf for something that I'm building. And I thought I could do that over in Nova Skin. Let's switch over there and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here we are in Nova Skin. Now, Nova Skin is really out of date. Last update here is 2014, but the things that work are really cool. And one of those over here is the Resource Pack Creator. Let's click on that and go into here. And in here, you can work on 3D models of a lot of the characters, at least the ones that were in place in 2014. Go over here, I'm going to choose Entities right here. And there's our wolf right there. We have just a few things. I have the wolf color, I need that one. I also have the Tame Wolf. That's what I want right here. I'll do the Tame Wolf first, we'll click on that. This brings up a 3D model of the wolf. You can click out here someplace and drag around and look at the whole wolf this way. And then it's easy just to repaint the wolf. Now I'll start down here with the red coloration and I'll choose noise, click in there, that gives kind of a random noise. And I want just a bit of a darker gray on this. I don't really want any color in there. So that's a good spot. And then just come in and draw right on the wolf model here and see if you like it. And that looks pretty good. Might go just a little bit darker on that, just a touch. And then simply come in and scribble around like this and paint in the whole figure. In this case, you know, stay away from anything which is important like the ears in there and the eyes and the nose. You can click on individual squares if you want to be really detailed. Let's do that. Click outside, you can move it around. Now on the legs, if you paint on one leg, it paints all legs on that same side. So there's one side of the legs. There's another side right there. Here we go. Pull around, I'll get this side. There it is, and we'll do the back of the legs, and that's right there. I'm just kind of down below here for that one. There we go. And let's get the side over here, and then I'll paint in the big main area here, and we'll get the rest of those sides painted in. I'll be doing kind of two shades in here on the wall. I'll be doing just this basic medium light gray for my major fur color, and then I'll come back in with a darker color to paint in there. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, let's get in this back area here, and there is a tail hiding on there, so make sure you get that tail in the side. There we go. So it goes pretty fast as you can see and it's really easy to do. Click outside and pull it around again. There we go. Get this little bit right here and back of the ears. And if I do one ear, it does both ears. It's a little bit on the side of the tail right here. I'll grab that and see if we can get just a little bit of what's on the bottom side here. Not as critical, you don't really see that. I think I can spin this thing around so I can really see the bottom. There we go. And make sure you don't paint on the bottoms of those feet. I'm gonna leave those alone. And just kind of carefully fill in here and right down that side. Again, very careful. And that's the bottom of the face right in there. Okay, I think that got it. A little bit right in there that I missed. Okay, so there's the basic gray color. I'm now going to come up with a bit of a darker color. I'll just pull this straight down a little darker. Let's just test that out. That's pretty good. I'm just going to do a bit of a random stuff in there. And I'll go to the other side over here. Same thing, just kind of random right in here. Nothing really special on that. And a little bit right down the spine again, just a bit random. A bit of top coloration in there like that. And that should do it. Okay, so there's our basic wolf coloration now. More of a gray look as opposed to that white look that we had. And that's all I need for this. Now in here you can kind of see through. That really doesn't matter because the collar goes right on there and hides that anyway. So you can just ignore that part of it. Okay, now we need to save this out. So I'll click on save right here and go over here to download and simply right click, save as, and download it to a location. I've already done it right here. I just made a new folder on my hard drive. I called it packs and I'm putting it right inside here. We'll use this to build our resource pack. And if you look over here, there is the name of that file, Wolf Tame PNG, and that's that one right there. I'll just overwrite that one, choose Save, and OK, and then Close. That one's done. Let's now back up just one step here, and I want to do that collar as well. There's a collar, it's just the one side as you can see, not that dramatic. I want it in a bit of a blue, so click into the blue, and I want it a bit lighter than that. Just find a nice kind of medium blue color in here. Maybe about like that's pretty good. And then I just need to paint right on that color itself. It's a little hard as you can see here because I have the wolf actually is in the way. I'll do the best that I can on that. Let me get it down here. There we are. I'll have to go back and erase those couple of spots on the ears that showed up there. I think that's about as much as I can do because the head is hiding the rest of that. Don't think I can actually get in there. No, I can't. I can get those two spots right there. Okay, on these, let's grab the eraser and I'll erase out those spots there that we don't need. And those are hidden by the ears anyway, so that really doesn't matter. And there's a couple little spots in here that I got by accident. Let's see if I can get those erased out of there, if I can reach those. There's one. There's the other. So there's the blue collar. Now, same thing. Go up here to save, to download. 
right click save image as and this one is wolf collar I'll just type that in it's a PNG file choose save and that's now done that can be closed okay that's it we're all done here inside of the Nova skin editor as you can see it's really easy to use and it's real nice for anything which actually is in here it's missing a lot of the newer stuff of course but anything that was in the game up to version 1.14 you'll find in here and it's real easy to use this tool for that kind of recoloration okay let's build that into a resource pack okay here we are back on my desktop here's that folder that i saved those into and i have the launcher in behind right here now go up to installations and over here next to your latest release click on that folder icon right there and that brings up the Minecraft folder. Now in here, we need to go into versions and you need to copy out your version. Now I'm building this for 117, but 117 doesn't have a file that I need in it yet. So we'll use the 116.5 instead. This one will work for this. I'm just going to look inside here and grab that jar file. If you don't see the .jar on that, go up to view and put a check right here. It says found in extensions. You'll then see that .jar. There we go. Now I'm going to right drag that over here into my working folder and I'll copy that. There we go. Okay, I'm done with this for right now. I'll just minimize that. Now on this, I need to have this as a zip file. Easy to do, the .jar actually is a zip. Let's just change that name. So I'll click into the name here. You see it like that? Just backspace over the jar and rename that zip. Choose yes. It's now a zip file. And we can then open this up. I'm going to right click on this and open a new window. And the first page you get to is this one. Now if you scroll way down, I'll go real fast here, right here, we need this pack.mcmeta and the pack.png. I'll just grab both of those and copy, right drag, copy. There we go. I need those two things. We also need to know the right folder to put these two files into. Let's take a look at that. So I'll go back up to the top again, real fast scroll there. We have assets, Minecraft, textures right down here, entity right there. And then if I scroll down just a little bit, we have wolf right there you can see right here is that path this is the right location for that file so i'm going to go over here and we're going to recreate this path here with new folders i'll click on the new folder button right here call this one assets there we go go inside of that folder new folder button again this one is minecraft there we go inside of that one new folder textures there we go inside of that new folder entity there we go inside of that new folder wolf there it is okay so now I'll go back to our working folder I'm going to take these two files right click and copy then I'll go into my folder structure here all the way into the wolf folder right click and paste and just paste those right there let's just make our view larger so you can see that there we go so there's our two files okay that's all set to go we can use this pack png if you want to it's just fine it's just a 128 by 128 square png file if you want to use your own, that's fine too. I often will use one of my spacesuit character, which I have at 256 by 256. I'll just use this one though for this video. Now we need to edit the pack MC Meta, and I like editing this file in a program called Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description, and it's great for this particular job. Double click on that to open that up. Here we go. Two things to do in here. First, where it says pack format, change that to a 7 right there version 1.17 in minecraft is now pack format 7 and let's just change our description here let's call that gray wolf choose save and that's all taken care of okay we can now zip this stuff up select the assets folder hold the control key down get that pack mc meta and that pack png that's all you need go up here where it says share and click on zip there's our zip file give it a name there we go, Gray Wolf and Zip. And that's all set to go. We can now put this inside of the game. Now for that, I don't need this any longer. Let's just get rid of this. And we're still here at the latest release. Go over here and click on that folder button right here. It brings back up this file, this folder. Go into Resource Packs. And there's the one that I have in the game right now. I'm just going to delete that. There we go. And I'll grab this new one. Right drag over here and copy. So there we go. I've just placed that resource pack into here. Close that down. Get that out of the way. If your game's not running, click on play. If your game is running, go ahead and bring the game up. Mine's running right now. And it's right here. I'm going to go into options and resource packs. There's the new one that we made right over here. Click on that triangle. That brings it into our selected or active side. Choose done. That loads that pack in. Choose done again. And back to game. And there we go. We now have our gray wolf 
with that blue collar, you can see that right there, instead of the white wolf that we had before. Now there's a little bit of red on that collar still. I'm not gonna worry about that. I think that's just fine. If I let go of that bone, I shouldn't see that red bit. I could go back, open up that color file in a regular graphics program and fix those two little spots if I really cared about that much. But I think this is just fine. There we go. I now have my gray wolf and I'll be using him in an upcoming video project real soon. Okay, and there you go. I'll see you next time.